So how do we hold the instrument, the guitar, when we play? I'll try to make this answer very short and very easy to understand. And I want you to actually not think of the instrument for a minute, but think of your body instead, because it's the body that can hurt, not the instrument. If you're doing anything wrong, then you're going to have some pain, some discomfort. So you want to think of your back, your neck, and both of your hands, your shoulders. And the basic rule there is that you don't want anything unusual happening to those parts of your body. Your neck, you don't want to strain your neck either way. So if your music is over there and my hands is over here, you don't want to do a lot of this, okay? You don't want to strain your neck. You don't want to uh, have your shoulders pop up, okay? You don't want to slouch, okay? You don't want to reach too far with your shoulders and especially your wrists. This is very important. Now, let me take my Fitbit off for a second so I can show you. Okay, so your wrists should be very close to being straight at all times. No matter what you do on the instrument, so the left hand, for example, okay, here's a beginner G chord. Now look at my wrist. See how it's straight? And look what happens if, for example, I bring my thumb up here. You're going to see people do this. Now, if your fingers are very long, like a grown-up with very long fingers sometimes, mine are not very long, then they, it's okay to do that. But my fingers are not very long. They're normal length. So when I do that, look what happens to my wrist. Look, see this? That's not good for your wrist. Neither is this. So if you go the other way, that's not good either. Same thing with this hand. You don't want anything unusual happening. See, you want your wrists to be straight this way. And also this, you, you don't want to do that. Okay, so you want to keep your wrists straight. Um, now some guitars come with a strap. Some guitars don't come with a strap. Um, if you're standing, usually you're going to have to use a strap. If you're sitting, like right now, I don't even have strap buttons on this guitar. This is a classical guitar, so I'm always sitting when I play this instrument. I never use a strap with it. Um, you could use a strap with classical guitars, but you don't have to. And I want you to focus more on, again, your body, not the instrument so much. And I'm holding this in the middle of my body right now, kind of. And if you check my right wrist, it's pretty straight. And my left wrist, See, because here's my G chord, and I bring my thumb kind of down, show you in the back of the fingerboard, see? So don't do that, bring it in the middle, and that allows you to straighten up your wrist, see? And my back is straight, and my neck is straight, and my shoulders are pretty straight. I mean, sometimes your body will move a little bit out of its normal position, but you don't want to move any body parts so far that they start hurting, okay? So when you practice, if your neck hurts, if your shoulders hurt, if your back hurts, if your wrists hurt, uh, then you're doing something wrong, so you wanna stop and fix your position. Uh, see, because if your wrist hurts for eight seconds, no big deal, right? Yeah, but people practice for hours and hours. I practice about 20 hours a week. Did you hear that? Yeah, I practice about 20, 15 to 20 hours a week. So if I slouch while I do that, or if I do this with my shoulder, that's going to hurt bad. So you want to make sure that your body is in its normal position as much as possible. So again, your back, your shoulders, your neck, um, your hands, especially your wrists. See, this is straight. Now it's okay if sometimes your hand goes a little, you see a little bit of that, a little bit of that, that doesn't hurt, but I'm talking about extreme distances. Distances when you when you start feeling pain in your wrist, see this, then you don't want to do that. Okay, so uh, here's a G chord. Here's my wrist. Here's a shot of my right hand. I'm gonna freeze it and bring it over. See everything is straight. My shoulders are in a good position. My back is straight. My neck is straight. <laughs> have it. So every time you sit to practice and throughout your practice session, check your back, check your neck, check your shoulders, check your wrists, 
and make sure that nothing hurts. Now your fingertips are gonna hurt when you first play the guitar because if you when you push the fingers down, that's gonna that's gonna push into your into your skin a little bit. And that's okay. That kind of pain is fine, but make sure none of your muscles hurt. Okay. <laughs> Nothing in my body hurts. Uh, thanks for watching the video. See you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.